Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn about GitLab introduction and getting started. So this is the first session and you can follow this on Windows and Mac and in this session we are going to learn what is GitLab, how to create an account on GitLab and then we will create a project on GitLab and I will go very basic step by step in this entire series so if you are a complete beginner or if you have no prior knowledge on GitLab do not worry I will start from basic and we will go up step by step so let's get started and before I write the steps to create account and to get started with GitLab let us see what is the difference between Git and GitLab so if I talk about Git, uh, it is a version control system and here Git is used to locally track our changes. So this is a version control system to locally track changes in your project or it can be a folder. So once you add your folder or your project to Git, it will start tracking for changes and also push and pull changes from remote repositories like github, bitbucket and gitlab. So this is what git is. I have a separate series on git just in case you want to learn git but at a very basic level this is a version control system and it is used to locally track changes in our project and also is used to push and pull changes to the remote repositories like github, bitbucket and gitlab. Now what is gitlab? In fact uh, gitlab, github and bitbucket provide similar kind of services and what is this? These are services that allow to host your project or it can be your folder on a remote repository and have some additional features as well to help in your software development lifecycle and also your CI CD that is continuous integration and continuous deployment so these can they can be features like uh, managing of your project, users, etc. Uh, sharing of code and can be a wiki or a documentation services. Bug tracking can also be there as part of the features. Uh, documentation and CI and CD that is continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment. So all these services can be provided by these uh, services like GitLab, GitHub and Bitbucket and these are the cloud services so we are going to focus on GitLab and as we go uh, towards this session and towards the other videos of this series you will come to know more and more about GitLab so I will keep it very basic so that you understand everything so uh, here let's get started with step number one I will also have all these notes in the description or the notes section of this video so you will get all the references and all the links as well so here step number one will be go to gitlab.com and create an account or sign up so I will just go and search for gitlab on Google and I have got this gitlab.com I'll just go here and this is the website gitlab.com and you will also find some documentation here so you can see now do not worry on whatever is written here I will explain you everything step by step so for now let us go and I will click here on register just click here and here you have to provide your name a username that you want to use your email you have to confirm your email and password so let me just have my name this will be my username and uh, I'll add my email and I will just confirm it and I will use some password here 
and accept the terms you can read and accept the terms of a uh, service and privacy and click on the recapture and I will say register now it will send a confirmation email to your email ID so let me just go and check and yes I have received it it is here and I will just click here on confirm so this will confirm my GitLab sign up and now I will sign in so this is going to be our step number two step number two is sign in to GitLab so I'll use my email or I can use the username as well and the password and sign in now one thing I just want to mention here is uh, the emails I am using these are all test emails these are not my primary emails I have noticed in the past that uh, some people look at these emails and uh, start emailing me on these emails I do not usually look at these emails for communication so please do not use these emails for communication so now we have logged into GitLab now here you will see a lot of uh, options and features here I will explain about all these later for now let us quickly go and create a project you will see we have a project here you can go here or you will also see this plus button and a drop down you can click here and also create a new project so I'll just go and click on this project and as of now you cannot see any project because there are no project I'll just go here to this new button and say new project so this is step number three create a new project on GitLab so this will take you to this screen to create a new project you can give your project name I will just say this is my first project and that's it you can give some description which is optional you can keep it private or public so if you want it to be accessed by anybody without authentication you can make it public otherwise keep it private and then just say create project and here you can see the project is created and here you also get a warning you won't be able to pull or push project code via SSH until you add an SSH key to your profile this we will learn in a later video how to add SSH key it will be very easy for now we have created our project and this link that you see at the top in the address bar that is your project link you can also go to this clone and you will see the link this is to clone with SSH and this is the HTTPS link so you can copy it from here or the address bar and this will be your project link and this you can use whenever you want to pull or push so we have created a project on GitLab so this was very basic in the coming sessions we are going to go deep and see how to add users how to fork project create branches how to use git to commit pull and push uh, how to use GitLab runner and we are also going to learn CI and CD with GitLab so I hope this was very useful for you do watch the next tutorial and if you have any doubts or any questions you can write them down in the comment section below and I will try to answer you as soon as I can I hope all of this was very useful thank you so much for watching